created for artists by artists. That's the draw of a local cafe, art studio, and event space called Brightside Studios. Brightside opened in February after plans to open two years ago were put aside when the studio's co-founder was diagnosed with cancer. Brightside Studios will host a fundraiser to fight cancer in October. And joining us now is studio co-founder Brad Ken. Welcome to Arizona Horizon. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's great to have you here. Give me a better definition of Brightside Studios. Uh, I think the easiest way to put it is it's the hangout spot for local creatives. It's a place where you can explore different mediums um, and find yourself through creativity. So basically, if you want to, if you think you're a painter, you might go down there and find out all of a sudden you're a musician. <laughs> it could happen that yeah. way. Um, I call them late bloomers, though, and they're kind of like me, where uh, they didn't know they had this passion for painting and art. And it started for me when I was painting a mural in my son's room, just something very simple. Um, and I found it so therapeutic that I was rushing home after work to just go paint more. Um, and so that's kind of how the idea started with Vanessa and I was, um, if we could shell out a warehouse or give someone a space where they don't have to worry about spilling uh, paint on the carpet or cooking in a hot garage, um, they might find this really valuable. And Vanessa, your wife and yes. co-founder. Yes. And I think she was the one who said this is a place where artists can be messy. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and that's part of the, the big draw is um, you're not worried about losing out on a security deposit in the apartment. You're not renting out an additional room. It's an affordable place where you can go and just have fun. We have a really friendly studio staff that encourages that splattering yeah. and your best Jackson Pollock against <laughs> the, the canvas. Um, yeah, we encourage it. So started the idea, I think it's, I read that you kind of kicked things off in 2016, or at least a spark was there in 2016. Yeah. And things were going pretty well, but something happened in 2020. Talk to us about it. Yeah, so um, we were feeling like we were rolling pretty well. We had found the dream location at 7th Street and Camelback. Uh, we had found, we had made blueprints. We were ready to rock and roll with construction. And then uh, the pandemic hit. So for the small business in us, we were like a lot of others that were struggling over the summer just to kind of figure out if we would survive that way. Yeah. Um, and so I, we were waiting for the construction. I was doing a lot of work in the building myself, and I noticed a sharp pain in my back, mm. um, which was odd. It just came out of nowhere, and I was walking to the back of the building and uh, ended up fainting from the just pain. Um, and that next day, my wife and I went to the doctor, and we were told that I was I had cancer, but we didn't know what it was. Wow. Um, so. After a month of testing, it came out that I had uh, multiple myeloma, which is a uh, bone marrow cancer, a blood cancer, currently incurable, but uh, treatments are improving, and it's promising right now. It is promising, um, and we've done some stories on, on you know, on cancer and you know, the, the future of cancer treatment, and that's one of the ones that seems to be a focus. That said, that puts a that kind of stops things down, doesn't it? And yeah. how did you get back going? And did the arts community come to your aid? Yeah, absolutely. Um, first of all, you know, she's just off camera, but my wife, you know, Brightside, and I would not be here without her. And I, I will share it as much as I possibly can that, you know, during my chemo treatments, and then eventually I went through a bone marrow transplant mm. um, where I was in recovery for about a year and I had a great family support system. My father and Vanessa really continued uh, bright side um, but we you know uh, we didn't know what was next and so that community came to us and s said this is an idea that we want to support um, you heal and we're gonna take it from here so we had four muralists that came and designed the um, this the four great murals that we have at bright side we had the construction team come in and do work during the pandemic um, and during my treatment Vanessa hired the amazing team that we have today, um, and so I was able to heal and um, be where I am today yeah. with, those, with those people. It's a, just a fantastic story, and, and, and uh, it, it's up, it's operational, created again by artists, for artists. And, and now how does it work? It sounds like there was a daily, monthly, yearly, how, how, how does it work? So it's, it's a 12,000 square foot venue of creativity. We have a lot going on there. So we offer a membership studio. So um, 
It's a 5,000 square foot section of uh, workstations and easels that you can pay for a day, month, or a yearly pass. But our cafe and lounge is all open to the public, and that's where we host our music on Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights. And we also have a paint classroom. So if you ever felt like dabbling in paint and drinking a glass of wine while you do it, uh, we have paint and sip classes. What kind of response are you getting? It's fantastic. Um, we just celebrated our six month anniversary. Um, kind of like I was talking about during my, my cancer struggle was the community was there and has always been there for us. Um, and it's growing quickly. And I think a lot of people are understanding the value in our space, but also seeing that this is a place to celebrate art. It's a place to showcase their talents. Um, and I can't wait for it to continue. Yeah, indeed. And now we've got a, on October 8th, a Creatives Against Cancer fundraiser. Talk to us about that. Yeah, so Bright Side obviously is all about giving back. That's something the Ken family is really passionate about, and we're excited that Bright Side would be able to give back to the Creatives of Phoenix. Um, we like to host quarterly events and then one large, big event at the end of the year. And what we're doing this time is called the Creatives Against Cancer Fundraiser, and all money is going to go to the International Myeloma Foundation. It's a large event at our venue. We're going to have food trucks, local artisans, uh, raffles, uh, silent auctions. It's going to be a blast. But the, the goal is to raise as much money as possible towards this cancer research. Indeed. It sounds like a great goal, and it sounds like a great project. And it sounds, it sounds like the kind of place where you don't know if you're an artist. You just want to dabble. You want to get messy a little bit, see about this, see about that. You come down there and get a pass and, and see what you can do, huh? Yeah, it's in post-pandemic, um, I think people are ready for that. Like, they want to see people again and hang out and create. Um, so we're offering that venue to just come down, have fun, if, whether you find it therapeutic or you just want to make a mess <laughs> on a Saturday. <laughs> Which can um, be therapeutic in and of itself. It is, yeah. uh, Brad Ken, Brightside Studios. Best of luck to you. Best of luck to that studio. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that is it for now. I'm Ted Simons. Thank you for joining us. You have a great evening. Big thing.